Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game between Gary Kasparov against Gaidas Hex. This is two attackers uh, in a chess game. Uh, let's see what happened. This chess game happened in 1982 in Moscow Interzonal Chess Tournament. Gaidas Hex is also an incredible amazing attacking chess player with lots of dynamic attacking chess games. His chess games are also very notable and beautiful. So Kasparov starts the game with pushing the d-pawn, d4, knight to f6, c4, and this is the king's Indian defense transposing into the Grunfeld defense, d5, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, and then e4, knight takes on c3, capturing the knight, and you can see that actually white has a pretty strong center, bishop to g7, bishop to g4, bishop to c4, and black castled, developing the bishop, and then b6, h4 by Gary Kasparov, marching to the king side and developing to queen and defending the e pawn, queen to d7, knight up, h5, fixing the h pawn, and bishop to g5, developing the knight and knight to f4. Can you see the threat? Kasparov is threatening to play knight takes on g6, the f pawn is going to be pinned, so e6 and rook over targeting the queen attacking the bishop, defending, and e5. So Sex is following the policy of pushing the e-pawn or the d-pawn when your opponent's king is not castled. So d takes on e5, and then bishop takes on e5. Kasparov also castled at move 17. Queen to g4, not exchanging the queens. Kasparov wants to keep the queens on the board. So actually, if exchanging the queens, as you can see that Kasparov's pawn structure is not looking amazing. Rook over and then bishop back attacking the queen uh, in this position. Gaida X captured the knight. So if capturing the queen, capturing the queen. Bishop takes on f4. And then maybe in this position some normal move like queen takes on h4 should be fine. Because if bishop to g5 then capturing on e4. Uh, with the queen and the queen is not trapped as you can see so black is doing fine in this position uh, instead of queen takes on h4 we see knight to c4 by gaila sex sacrificing the knight and just like many of his chess games gaila sex is playing energetic and dynamic against gary kasparov even against gary kasparov well in this position kasparov simply captured the knight is sex playing with fire against Kasparov. Then he played rook takes on e4 and attacking the bishop and also attacking the queen, threatening to capture the bishop and opening the diagonal of the bishop and threatening checkmate. So what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Which move is the best move for white? Can you see the best move for white? The best move is f3, actually, this is what Gary Kasparov played. In this position, if defending the queen, then capturing the bishop and threatening checkmate as well. So white has to play something like bishop to d5 and black is slightly better in this position. And in this position, if rook takes the other bishop, then perhaps bishop to g3 and you can see that black is still slightly better in this position, defending the checkmate threat, and black is a pawn up. So in the real chess game, rook takes on e4, and Kasparov played f3, forking to rook and the queen, forking to queen and to rook. So sex played queen takes on f4, and if capturing the queen, then rook takes queen, and black is winning. If capturing the rook, of course. Then queen takes queen check and white can resign. So what would you do in this position? It looks like Gaila Sex had Gary Kasparov on the ropes. Which move is the best move for white? Let me give you a couple of seconds. Out of nowhere, Gary Kasparov unleashed an incredible attack. So can you see that attack? What would you do? What can white play here? The move is bishop takes on f7. Kaboom. King to g7 was played by Gaila Sex. If king takes on f7, then capturing the rook and winning the queen. So black has to play something like 
queen takes on f1, capturing the queen, and this is losing, this is all over, this is pinning the queen to the king, and that's all over. So this is why bishop takes on g7, this came out of nowhere. King to g7, and then saving the queen, and also attacking the rook, and there is no time for capturing the bishop, because this is attacking the rook. So checking the king, simplifying the game, and then in this position, it looks like Gaila Sex uh, actually has a promising attack, because attacking the c-pawn, attacking the bishop, what would you do in this position? Rook to d7, of course, by Gary Kasparov. And there is no time for capturing the pawn because of checking the king, bishop down to d5, and after discovery taking the king, capturing the bishop on b7. So we have saving uh, the discover check problem, but then rook takes on c7. So basically this was double threat, uh, both threatening bishop to d5 and attacking the pawn. Black can save both of them, and then rook takes on c7, and black is a pawn up. Defending the bishop, attacking to rook, rook to d1 by Gary Kasparov, maybe threatening to play rook to d6 and attacking. So bishop to d3 blocking, of course uh, Sex didn't want to play rook to d3 because of exchanging the rooks and that's a losing endgame. So bishop to d3, rook to d2 not allowing rook to e2 and then bishop to f5, king to f2 defending the rook. But unfortunately for Sex, he has to exchange the rooks. Kasparov played rook to d5, exchanging the rooks, and then rook to d8, defending the bishop, b5, and then king to e3, moving the king towards the center, uh, that's the rule. So a5 and king to f4, moving the king towards the center in the endgame. Uh, Kasparov is following the general policy. Bishop to b1 and attacking on a2. What would you do in this position? Maybe defending on a2 comes to mind. But Gary Kasparov played energetic g4 and he's threatening to play g5. So we have h takes on g4. In this position, if something like bishop takes on a2, what happens then? <laughs> then g5, of course, checkmate, getting checkmated, and that's knockout. So h takes on g4, f takes on g4, and then checking the king, king goes down, and after this move, Gaila Sex resigned, because he didn't want to fight a losing battle. So this is why he resigned. The possible continuation, if, uh, of course, in this position, white is threatening to push the pawn, king down, and rook to h7. So what else? g5, but then white is creating a pass pawn. c takes on b5, and this is all over for black. This is what happens when two attackers plays with each other, attacker against an attacker. So, thank you very much for watching. This was the beautiful chess game between Kasparov and Sex, and what a move that that was. Out of nowhere, Gary Kasparov unleashed an incredible attack. Bishop takes on f7. So, in this position, it looks like Sex had Kasparov on the ropes, but Kasparov extricates his he extricates himself in a very difficult looking position but this is actually winning for white at the end of the day kasparov defeated gaila sex and thank you very much for watching so this is the final position where gaila sex resigned sex chess games are also pretty instructive pretty beautiful unfortunately he passed away in 2014 only for the records you should also see his chess games. He indeed plays like Mikel Tal. He, he played like Tal. His chess games are always very energetic and fun. So thanks again. I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.